Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Representative Brian Steele. Style, I'm not sure how the last name is pronounced. Uh, he is the representative for the 1st District of Wisconsin which covers Kenosha and comes up just short of Milwaukee covering the southeastern corner of the state. He is a Republican and before he took office he was preceded in office by Paul Ryan. Now Let's go ahead and see who he is as an individual. He was born in Janesville, Wisconsin on March the 3rd, 1981. Graduated from Joseph A. Craig High School in Janesville, Wisconsin in 1999. Earned a Bachelor of Science from Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. in 2003. Earned a J.D. from the University of Wisconsin in Madison, Wisconsin in 2007. Was staff member for U.S. Representative Paul D. Ryan of Wisconsin 2003 to 2004. Has been a lawyer before being elected as a Republican to the 116th and two following Congresses. So he is in term three, year six. Now, let's go ahead and look at the committees he is on. He is on the Committee on Financial Services, of which he is on the Subcommittee on Capital Markets and the Subcommittee on Digital Assets, Financial Technology, and Inclusion, blah, blah. Uh, he is on the Committee on House Administration, of which he is Chairman. He is on the Joint Committee on Printing, of which he is Chairman. And he is on the Joint Committee on the Library. Now, let's go ahead and look at his top five industry donors over his career. At the top, retired, who have donated $1,495,402. Next to Securities and Investment, who have donated $1,452,202. Next is Insurance, who altogether have donated $880,012. Next is Real Estate, who have donated $872,640. And fifth is Leadership Packs, who altogether have donated $777,050. Let's go ahead and look at his top five individual donors and contributors over his career. At the top, number one, we have Northwestern Mutual, an American financial services mutual organization based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the company provides a consultation on wealth and asset income protection, education planning, retirement planning, investment advisory services, financial planning, trust and private client services, estate planning, and business planning. Its products include life insurance, permanent life insurance, disability income, the long-term care insurance, annuities, investments, and investment advisory products and services. Northwestern Mutual, ranked number 90 
on the 2021 Fortune 500 list of the largest U.S. corporations by total revenue and is in the top 30 by assets held. The firm distributes a portion of its earnings to eligible policyholders as annual dividends. Altogether, it has donated $119,885, and once again, that's Northwestern Mutual. Next, at number two, we have Blackstone Group an American alternative investment management company based in New York City. Its private equity business has been one of the largest investors in large leveraged buyouts in the last three decades, while its real estate business has actively acquired commercial real estate across the globe. Blackstone is also active in credit, infrastructure, hedge funds, secondaries, growth equity, and insurance solutions. As of May 2024, Blackstone has more than $1 trillion U.S. in total assets under management, making it the largest alternative investment firm globally. It was founded in 1985 as a mergers and acquisitions firm by Peter G. Peterson and Stephen A. Schwartzman, who had previously worked together at Lehman Brothers. Altogether, it has donated $92,300. And once again, that's Blackstone Group. Next, at number three, we have ABC Supply Company. A major private American roofing supply company based in Beloit, Wisconsin. It also sells windows, gutters, and siding for residential commercial buildings and is the largest roofing and vinyl siding wholesale distributor in the U.S. It was founded in 1982 by Ken Hendricks and Diane Hendricks. Altogether, it has donated $84,850, and once again, that's ABC Supply. Next, at number four, we have Direct Supply Incorporated, and it is a private company that specializes in providing equipment commerce, and services to healthcare organizations and the senior living industry. It was founded in 1985 and headquartered in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The company provides its products and services to healthcare organizations, skilled nursing, and assisted living communities throughout the U.S. As of 2011, Direct Supply employed more than 1,300 people in its mile-long 11 building campus in Milwaukee. It has an employee ownership structure. In 2007, the company opened its first international office in China. Altogether, it has donated $68,300. And once again, that's Direct Supply Incorporated. Finally, in fifth, we have Continental Properties Company, and it is headquartered in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, and it is a national real estate developer and property management firm that focuses on Class A multifamily apartment communities in suburban markets and was founded in 1979. Uh, altogether, it has donated $66,200 and once again, that's Continental Properties. Now let's look at his donors at a glance. Industry-wise, retired, absolutely wonderful. Securities and investment, ooh. 
insurance, uh, real estate, uh, leadership packs, both suck individually. Northwestern Mutual, uh, Blackstone Group, ooh, ABC Supply, uh, Direct Supply Incorporated, uh, Continental Properties, uh, but this, yeah, um, a lot of Just, yeah, alternative asset property management and real estate seems to be the his individual, which is why securities and investment is number two, real estate is number four. So, yeah, retired, you always can't, there's nothing you can really argue with but on that. I mean, it's people. But, yeah. All to get, uh, this has been a look at Representative Brian Steele, who is the representative for the 1st District of Wisconsin. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.